perfect. That would make sense if they could purr, but they can't purr. Now, Peter, I'm so sorry. I had the engine behind me, but I did hear leopard cubs and blue eyes. Peter, you'd like to know if leopard cubs are born with blue eyes. They are. In fact, if you see... Wee, 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 wee. Oh. <gasps> Just a second. You got a view? Oh, my goodness. No, no orbs. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable. There we go. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that kill. I did not expect. This is. Yo! Oh. Yo! So she went and she had a snack and then decided, I'm still hungry. We didn't hear any alarm calls, you just had the groaning. Oh my goodness. Guys, I did not see that coming either. Check her, she's still got her her mouth on the throat because this animal's still alive, it's still shaking its tail a little bit. It is. It is my my first live leopard kill. <sighs> you are absolutely formidable, Lalamba. I feel like princess is not even the right word for her anymore. Young Yala. Black Fron, you'd say the opportunity presented itself? Yes. That was just as we were talking about. You know, we we're talking about the amount of kills they make per year and the statistics about 20. Look at that. This opportunity was available to her. She took it. And this female Yala just ran towards her. We saw her making the dash. And then that thing ran towards her. What? Nah. That was insane. <laughs> I did not expect that. So <laughs> the amount of times we see her look and dash and look and dash and look and dash and nothing happens. And she had this crazy in her eye as well. Absolutely insane. These tourists must be losing their minds. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They have no idea. How lucky we were. We were in a great position to watch her come this whole way. Oh, there you go. She's She's taking her mouth off the throat now. I think that animal is now dead. <laughs> you say you went for a cup of coffee and you missed it? No, 
that's how it goes. Sometimes I'll take a turn left instead of right and I'll miss it. Or I'll be looking left or right and I'll miss it. It's just insane. All these things can happen out of nowhere. She just is insane. Amazing me. And that body is now totally lifeless. That neck is snapped. Tom, you said that, did you say that it was right in front of your eyes? It certainly was. Check it, looking up at, at the tracker in the other vehicle. Hinky, you say that was such a fast takedown. It was spectacular. Now see, look at how tired she is. Look at her breath. Her whole body is moving. So, so tired. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Now she'll survey a good tree. I think I see a good tree just further up ahead. Yeah, let's move on as we are. We have. This is a big prize. The last thing you want is another leopard to come along and steal it. <coughs> cough, cough, Tingana. Look at her watching, watching. She's so tired though. I don't know if she'll have it in her to pull it up. Maybe she'll just pull it up a little way. Oh, she's working so hard. She's putting in such an effort. Wow, 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 you're still reading, Kimberly. Trust me, I am, I am, I don't think I've actually, it's actually, <laughs> I don't think I actually am here just yet. <laughs> Which side will you go? This is just amazing. This is one of those times where totally and completely nature speaks for itself and the bush speaks for itself. There's nothing I can say to make this better. Tom, you say if she can hoist this Nyala now, you'll be seriously impressed. So will I. But the way that she's looking around... The way she's looking around like that, telling me she's interested in doing something with it. But they have very strong jaws and necks. She's gonna give it a go. She looked like she was gonna give it a go. Oh, we're trying a new technique backwards up the tree. I suspect that she's so used to her kills being stolen that she's going to definitely try to put it somewhere. There she goes. She's... She's... She's hoisted. This... You... Oh, oh, careful. Oh, she made it. She made it. She's just going to make sure that thing doesn't slip. Oh, my girl, you go. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You're doing so well. Come on, girl. You're doing so well. Oh my goodness, the mere fact that she lifted it up that much. Oh my gosh! Look at her breathing. She's exhausted.
Maybe she'll just leave it there for a little bit and help it get a little bit lighter. Maybe eat a little, maybe cut its tummy open. I'm just, I'm just looking at her and shaking my head. I am in s such awe and shock. Such a strong animal. <gasps> oh god. Oh god, oh gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. She's holding on. Oh like a cat she made it on all fours. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, there was a moment, you know, I just think about it. she falls on her back or something and there's a branch sticking out or something like that. I get a bit scared. But maybe this will allow her to start again. My goodness. She knows the branch she wants. She just doesn't know how to get there. Oh my God. She's now trotted away. Hyena. Oh, no poor thing is gonna get all, all your effort. Oh, Talamba. Oh, listen, listen, guys. Sip, oh. should try to reverse a little? Or is that good? Oh, you can actually see the intestines. Yeah, we can reverse a bit. There we go. Now, you keep an eye on uh, the hyena chomping away. I want to see where our girl has gotten to. This is why she needed to hoist. Oh, so sad. And that's why she needed to do it right then. Oh, girl. This is Koza. Koza, you've just been... You've just had your Christmas present. You've got a fairly good-sized Nyala. Listen, listen, guys. Kuna, Kuna, you say that didn't last long? Shame. <laughs> Our poor girl's effort has gone to the benefit of Koza. Anne's pace, you say that's an expensive lesson for Tlalanda? It's probably one that she experiences very, very often. That's why she'll probably realize that Daika are a better size for her, or tiny impalas. And to go for this Nyala was great, was ambitious, but she couldn't hoist it. Also, I think she would have been hoisted, if she, would have been able to hoist if she had a better tree. Circumstances were just not on her side in that respect. This type of thing can attract creatures from all around. We can expect more hyenas to come. Tingana to show his face.
Tom, you'd like to know if Columba was walking okay after her fall? Oh, yes, she was. She landed on her feet and she she walked perfectly. She even pounced a little, you know, gave a little, not a pounce, but you know when she jumps as she walks, like a little bit of a trot? She did that, so she was perfectly fine. Who knows what can happen overnight? Stitch cat, you'd like to know if she could steal it back. She won't go up a hyena, up, <laughs> up a hyena. She won't go up against a hyena. What she's more likely to do is wait for a gap. This may actually work out for her. So she will wait for a gap. The hyena will feed a little bit. Maybe it gets distracted by something. Maybe another hyena, and then they have a bit of a tiff or something like that. Then she'll grab it and hoist it immediately. That is her only way out of the situation. Leon, you'd like to know if a male leopard would have challenged the hyena? I have noticed that when it comes to Tingana, he seems to care much less about the hyenas. But I think that has a lot to do with size and dominance as well. Talamba is a little less experienced. She is only newly territorial. And she's obviously smaller. But a challenge wouldn't have ensued, as in they wouldn't have now fought over this carcass. They would have each sort of danced around him, around each other until an opportunity presented itself for either the hyena to run away with a piece or Tingana to pick it up into the tree. Well, that is an excellent question, Leon, because you often think about these things and sometimes you can see that circumstances are different. I've seen Hosanna eat one end of a, of a carcass while a hyena was eating the other end. The end. They were sharing. So it depends so much on the circumstance and you can almost never really predict what's going to happen because the situation can be so individual. Whew. It was crazy. Koza has made mints out of the Sinyala. Gotten through it so quick. Huh, well, let's see what else will happen as we sit here, but we'll send you over to James trying to reposition to find those hyena. Oh, oh, he's just ripped the ear off. Now it's going for the brain. Some of the most nutritious bits right there. <sighs> okay, guys, this there goes the eyeball. Guys, this is getting gruesome, so I hope that if you were sensitive, you already turned away. I want you to listen and compare the, this kind of chewing. Oh, there's the air. It fell out of it. That strong jaw and those teeth that are made to crush this bone is creating much louder a sound than Tlalamba was when she was eating that baby diker trying to get on that bone. Oh, there's the brain exposed. Brain cavity exposed. This is savage. First went the ear, then into the brain cavity, then the eyeball. Oh my goodness. Oh. Kerry Bear, you'd like to know what those things flying around are? They're flies. Lots of flies around, as you would expect. Oh, there's a fat fly in there too.
What a day. Look at that. Look at that. He's just pushed the tongue out of the mouth with his paw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> April, you say you suddenly have a headache? Can you imagine what a headache this Nyala had? His brain just got taken out. Unbelievable. A once in a lifetime thing. And we are so lucky to see this more than just once in a lifetime. Ooh, Pegasus has got to come out and drive with me more often, I think. Guys, I'm so happy to have shared this experience with you. It is just fascinating. Maybe we'll just go on for another minute. And we'll just see what else he gets through. Oh my goodness, I think he's just pulled ahead. Yeah, I think a minute will be fine because pretty much there'll just be a mid-section left of the Nyala afterwards. Sahara, you say this is amazing. Oh, I'm telling you, Sahara, and I'm so glad that we got to see this together. I wonder if the other eyeball... Oh, that was really interesting. I don't know if you'll be interested in it, but when he moved a certain part of the back of the neck, the jaw opened. Oh. Or you said this rate, Tlalamba will get nothing to hoist. I must say, he's making quite a meal out of this. I wonder if... And he's able to gorge himself. And up to 20 kg. So he's going to eat as much as he wants. And even better than this is that there's no other hyenas around. He's a male. He's a subordinate. This is the one opportunity he will get to gorge himself to his fullest extent. And I think he's going to take every every ounce of that animal. Kev, you say any extension is always appreciated. Oh, you are absolutely welcome, Kev and all of you, because this is amazing. I think once that head goes, we can call it a night. I think it might actually already be separated. That eyeball, my gosh, I'm so glad you saw that. Up, oh, there we go. Head is, head is off. There we go. Okay, then. Carol, are you asking if hyenas call for clan members when they have food? Or are you surprised that they don't? They most definitely don't each for themselves. Okay, this head is truly done for. We've just got the jaw with teeth in the front by that muzzle. And that is it. Eye, second eye is gone. A lot of you are asking if I can still see Tlalamba. I cannot, although I doubt very much that she would have run very far. It's also pretty thick. Down the Koza feasting. Thank you guys. See you later in the morning.